Yellow traffic lights. A yellow traffic light or arrow means stop. When you approach a yellow traffic light, you must stop if you can stop safely before reaching the stop line or traffic lights. Penalties apply to drivers who fail to stop at a yellow traffic light when they would have been able to safely stop before reaching the stop line. Using headlights and fog lights. You must not use your headlights on high beam if travelling less than 200 metres behind a vehicle travelling in the same direction or when less than 200 metres from an oncoming vehicle. It is an offence to flash your headlights unless the vehicle is being used to respond to an emergency. A driver must not use any light fitted to their vehicle that may dazzle another road user. You can only use your fog lights if driving in fog, mist or other atmospheric conditions that restrict your visibility. Keeping left. On multi-lane roads with a speed limit of more than 80 km per hour, you must not drive in the right-hand lane unless you are overtaking, turning, avoiding an obstacle, driving in congested traffic, driving in a special purpose lane or if there is a must turn left lane or a left traffic arrow and you are not turning left. If a keep left unless overtaking sign is displayed, the requirement applies regardless of the speed limit. Giving way to pedestrians when turning. If you are turning left or right at an intersection, you must give way to any pedestrian crossing the road that you are about to enter. This rule applies to intersections both with and without traffic lights. However, it doesn't apply at roundabouts. School zones. Drivers must obey the school zone's speed limit of 40 km per hour between the school zone and end school zone signs. The school zone speed limit applies on New South Wales government school days and during the times on the school zone sign. School zone hours are normally 8am until 9.30am and then 2.30pm until 4pm. Some schools have non-standard school zone times. These non-standard school zones have signs that show the different hours of operation in red. School zones are enforceable on all New South Wales government school days. These include pupil free days and on the days when non-government schools may or may not be in operation. School zones operate and are enforced on pupil free days because pupil free days can vary from school to school. Consistent operation of school zones aims to reduce driver confusion which improves the safety of school children. Thank you.